At the Alzheimer's Day Center in Syracuse, group singing is a great form of therapy for people living with this devastating brain disease. It's already the sixth leading cause of death in the U.S., but a new study found deaths due to Alzheimer's increase at a staggering 68 percent over the last decade. Now one in three seniors are expected to die of Alzheimer's. You love to tinker. Eileen Krupka said her dad died of the disease last October. Matthew Donahue? was 76 years old. He didn't talk a lot towards the end, um, so it was hard. I watched a little piece of him go every day for the past six years. Alzheimer's is a degenerative brain disorder. Symptoms include memory loss, confusion, inability to solve problems or communicate, and eventually death. According to the Alzheimer's Association, in 2013, an estimated 450,000 people will die of Alzheimer's in the United States. New York is currently home to 320,000 people living with the disease, of which up to 69,549 live in central New York. The cost of caregiving to these patients in central New York comes to a staggering $1.6 billion annually. We are in the epidemic of Alzheimer's disease today. So we need to make sure that we're, we're talking to our, our policy makers that they know both on a federal level and on a state level that we need to be putting action into place today. Though the research now is focusing on early diagnosis and treatment, the fact is there is no cure for Alzheimer's disease. As the disease expands, the Alzheimer's Association sees a growing need to support families and caregivers along with support networks to keep patients out of nursing homes as long as possible. If those systems break down, we're going to see um, three and four and perhaps even a greater increase in the amount of Medicare and Medicaid expenditures than we currently are seeing. Currently, five million Americans are living with Alzheimer's. At the current rate, that number could triple by the year 2050. Jim Kenyon reporting.